Introducing our UK-built loud pedals in collaboration with the incredible Martin Miller and Tom Quayle. Yes, that's right. We've taken the format of our award-winning Foundry Loud Pedal and created two stunning new Ironheart and Lionheart Loud Pedals in collaboration with two of the very best guitarists in the world. These gorgeous 60-watt amplifiers are meticulously handcrafted in our UK workshop, Black Country Customs, and share features such as a foot-switchable boost based on our Steel Park Boost Pedal, the foot-switchable reverb based on the spring algorithm of our Secret Path Reverb Pedal. They also feature our Laney Advanced Impulse Response Technology that uses 56-bit FIR filters to produce stunning cabinet impulse responses. Both loud pedals allow you to choose between two impulse responses at the flick of a switch, and these can be changed and edited using the free Loud Pedal Layer app that comes included with each amp as a free download for your desktop or laptop. So the Layer technology allows you to have two IRs stored on the device. You can actually have more than that, but two on the device. But the really cool thing is they can have independent parametric EQs, fully parametric EQs per IR. So if you've got an IR that you really like that's maybe a bit spiky in the high end, you can actually tame that one whilst not having a global EQ on the IRs. They're actually independent per IR. So that's a really, really useful feature for people who like to use those two IRs and make them both kind of perfect for a particular venue or for a particular recording scenario. It's very powerful. Loud pedals also feature USB-C audio out for recording and also access to our Loud Pedal Air app. All of the foot switchable features of the Loud Pedal can be switched remotely via MIDI CC numbers, meaning it will interface effortlessly with your controller setup. These incredible made in the UK Loud Pedals are so versatile you could run a completely silent stage by using the DI out. You could run this straight into headphones for silent practice, or you could run it directly into a cab and of course you could record directly using the USB-C audio out. So it's great for a variety of different scenarios, whether you're recording, rehearsing, or performing live. It really does look the part. It looks just like my favorite Ironheart series amps. And at the same time, I was a little bit skeptical because I found it hard to believe that something so small can sound so big. Well, I've been using Laney amplifiers for most of my life now, for more than half of my life. I've bought my first Laney amplifier when I was 18 from my first pay from social services. That was fun, picked it up through eBay uh, from somebody and was always drawn to the thick, creamy, compressed distortion that was cutting but warm, um, thick but transparent. To me, it's just one of the best types of distortion I can think of when it comes to my style of guitar playing. Boasting two channels and a robust 60 watt power output, this amplifier incorporates dynamic gain switching, captivating reverb, and a boost function. You can plug this directly into a passive cab. You could send the amp signal to front of house via the XLR, and you could record your playing via the USB-C audio out too, making this a great tool for gigging, rehearsing, and recording whilst on the move. So the way I use this pedal varies greatly on the the types of gigs that I play, the types of sessions that come up, etc. So there's many use cases for this, which is probably one of my favorite things about it. On channel one, the toggle switch allows you to determine the gain characteristics of the channel, allowing the player to select symmetrical, clean, or asymmetrical clipping. On channel two, the EQ switches affect the tonal character of the channel, allowing you to select bright, flat, and dark EQ settings. The channel I use by far the most, which is possibly 95% of the time, if not more, is channel two, because channel two in itself is extremely versatile. So, for example, I would run a volume pedal in front of the input, or I use the volume control of my guitar to dial that way down, turn off the boost, and I have a really spanky, clean, yet still compressed tone. I crank up the volume on the guitar or on the foot pedal, I have a mid-gain sound and then I hit the boost and it's all out shred goodness. So that's all within channel two. And I go to channel one 
uh, if I want something that is super pristine and uncompressed clean, almost like a, a warmed up DI signal. The UK made Tom Quail Lionheart loud pedal is almost indistinguishable in terms of tone to Tom's original Lionheart tube amp. When I first saw this, genuine mind-blowing experience because it's such an aesthetically pleasing product to kind of hold. It just feels amazing and looks so cool. And they got the coloring for this, just like the Lionheart amp, and that kind of was really, really pleasing to me. So yeah, kind of mind-blowing actually how great this thing looks. So if you'd blind a bead me between the original amp and this, there's literally no way I could have told the difference. It sounds like hyperbole, but genuinely, it's almost impossible to tell the difference. So that was kind of mind blowing as well, just how close this is to the original amp, which I've been playing for years now and know really, really well. So it's phenomenally close to the original. <laughs> favorite feature is the size of it because I can take this so easily anywhere in the world and the DI out sounds so good with the cab sims on there that you know just plug this into a, a PA or into a cab anywhere in the world and I've got the Lionheart sound in this format this size it's just incredible so it's incredible for travel basically because of the size back it says handcrafted in the UK and I think that's really important it's just a sort of quality sort of seal of approval if you like it's really well made really well designed these incredible amplifiers are available now just get in touch with your local dealer for more information so Martin what advice would you give to people who haven't tried out a loud pedal yet? If you've never experienced a loud pedal, I urge you to check one out, plug it in, and have your mind blown.